Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile PayPal's payment hold and payment release transactions in your Zero bank feed. In this lesson, I use a couple of Australian dollar transactions, but you can use this video no matter what currency you have in your Zero file. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Zero, then please check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so a little bit of theory about these hold and release transactions before we get started in Zero. So PayPal sometimes holds funds aside for up to 21 days, and they are often for a specific transaction. And then once PayPal is satisfied that the transaction is completed, they will release the funds back into the account. So while the funds are being held, they reduce the balance of your PayPal account and once the funds have been released, they increase the balance of your PayPal account. Now, any PayPal transactions that are balance affecting should be imported into Zero and reconciled properly. And this is done for the sake of good bookkeeping practices. And that is that if all balance affecting transactions in your PayPal account are brought into Zero and reconciled, then the balance in PayPal should always equal the balance in Zero. So payment hold and payment release transactions should be reconciled in zero where possible. Now, the reason I say where possible is that there are a few situations in which you can't reconcile these transactions in zero because they won't be brought into your zero bank feed. The first situation is that PayPal itself will not send into zero any matching hold and release transactions that occur within 12 hours of each other. And then zero will not include in your feed any matching hold and release transactions that occur within 24 hours of each other. So anything that is matched by PayPal or zero within those time frames, the hold and release transactions, they won't come through to your zero feed at all. So you can't reconcile them. Now, some people like to delete matching hold and release transactions from their zero feed, the ones that come through, but I don't recommend this just in case you actually delete the wrong transactions, or in other words, you delete transactions that don't actually match, even if they are for the same amount, they might be for different things. So I recommend keeping the transactions and reconciling them in zero. And that way you'll have an accurate audit trail of events in case you need to refer to it later. Okay, so let's go and have a look at a couple of transactions now. Okay, so over here in Google Sheets, I've got some transactions that I've downloaded from PayPal. And these are the transactions that we're going to be looking at in zero. And what we've got here on the 9th of October is we've got a sale that we made through eBay for $144 minus $4.04 as a fee, giving us a net sale of $139.96. And then on that very same day, you can see that PayPal has put an external hold on that exact net amount. So there's minus 139.96, which matches up to that there. And you can see here that this is the balance column. Both of these transactions have actually affected the balance. So the balance has gone up when we made the sale and then the balance has come down when PayPal has put that external hold on. And because it's affected the balance, that means we need to reconcile it in zero. So then further down, this is where the external release happens on the 24th. So that's about two weeks later. And PayPal has released back to us that $139.96. And you can see there that the balance has gone up from 7,000 to just over 7,200. So they're the two matching transactions that we're going to be looking at our hold and release transactions over in zero. So if we go over to zero, We've got a PayPal account here that I've set up in the demo company and I've uploaded those transactions. So if I just go to the 9th of October, which is actually here, you can see here, we've got that sale that we were talking about $144 and there's the fee that's come out there. And then there's the external hold there, the 139.96. And then further down on the 24th, we'll see that 139.96. Um, coming back in the other way. So these are actually in our bank feed here in zero, which means we really should reconcile them rather than deleting them. 
So we've got these sales, which we would just reconcile um, to a sale account or a revenue account in here somewhere. So probably that one there, sales. And then we've got the fee as well, which we would reconcile to some sort of bank fees account. But what we do with the external hold is something different. And what I like to do is reconcile it to a suspense account. And we would end up reconciling both sides to the suspense account. And the reason for that is that on the 9th, if I reconcile this to a suspense account, which is a liability account on the balance sheet, it means that it stays there until we actually put the entry in on the other side, which happens on the 24th. So if we run a report any time from the 9th up till the 23rd, we can see that that 139.96 is still there in suspense. We haven't actually been given the money back. And so we can use that report to basically check and see what we need to uh, bring up with PayPal um, to see um, if there's any money um, that we need released and why it hasn't been released yet. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's just reconcile this to the suspense account. So for who, I'll just say PayPal. And then for the account, we'll just grab this 850 suspense account, which is already in zero. And then for the description, we can actually just say external hold from PayPal or something to that effect. So what we can do now is just click OK and we can reconcile that. And if we assume that it's still the 9th or the 10th of October, what we can do is we can run our report. So if I just duplicate the screen and I go to reports, in fact, I'll go to this account transactions report. Okay, so let's find the suspense account in here. Right there. And we'll run it at the end of October. So I'll just put that date in over here. We could run it on the 10th of October, for example, but let's just run it on the 31st of October and click on update. Okay, so you can see there that the only transaction that we've got in on the 9th is that debit for 139.96. So if we did not receive that money back from PayPal as a release by the end of the month, by the end of October, it would give us something that we need to go and look into so we can run this report, say monthly, and then see which of these external holds are still actually um, active or haven't been released back. So that's why I like to actually put these in a suspense account. But this one was actually released and it was released on the 24th. So let's go back and find that transaction. Okay, there it is there, external release on the 24th of October. And you can see that's on the other side of the ledger, that's money coming back in. So we'll just go ahead and reconcile that one to suspense as well. So that can go to PayPal again. The account is suspense. And I'll just put the description in as external release from PayPal and we'll click okay. All right, so that's done. So we'll go back over and run our report Okay, so now let's say it's month end again, the 31st of October, and we're running our report again. Okay, so now you can see we've got the hold and we've got the release, 139.96, 139.96 debit and credit. So you can see that it's all been taken care of within that month, so we don't actually need to contact PayPal and chase up this hold because the release has come back in. So obviously you could have multiple holds and releases within a particular month or quarter or however um, often you run your reports and check these things and you can just go ahead and see um, which ones need chasing up based on whether the releases come back in uh, by the date that you run the report okay so that's how i like to reconcile external holds and releases from paypal i like to put them in a suspense account rather than deleting them um, in order to basically use it as a cross check to see um, if there's anything that needs to be chased up uh, to PayPal.